Hello, you lion sleeping tonight. Jim Sterling here, and this is Predator Simulator. Uh, it is not the Predator. I do have to dispel that. I feel I'm going to have to dispel that in the YouTube uh, video title as well. Uh, yes, this is uh, the traditional sense of the word Predator, not the thing what goes in the jungle. Uh, that was a terrible Predator click noise. Um, but... It's the best I can do on short notice. Uh, we're going to play it. That's what we're going to do. How, how do we do that? Let's see. Play. Use WAS to move. I can certainly do that, my friend. Kill three chickens. Hold shift to sprint. Alright. Brilliant. Left click to attack. Alright. Obviously, I was going to do this one. The moment I saw it on Steam, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll play that. I'll play that shit. Right click near a dead prey to eat it. Oh, where's that dead chicken? Alright, I'll just. Lovely. Press Alt to scare everyone. Not working. It's weird. There we go. For some reason I was pressing the wrong one. It's. I've just woken up. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna use middle click for action cam. Okay. Right, I want this off now. I don't know, I want it. Well, okay. And how do I stop it? How do I stop action cam? You told me to, how to put it on. Now I want it off. Okay, apparently pressing the pause menu undid the camera, or at least freed me up. There's a bear trap there, so I'm not going to go near that because I'm not an idiot. But apparently we've got to kill some civilians or whatever, so... Get a jump, that's good. Okay... Oh! I wasn't... Where, where's my food? Oh yeah, down here. I guess that's the health meter. I'm gonna get over here somewhere. Well, I mean, as far as shitty joke simulators go, this is certainly more competent than many of the ones I've seen, and at least more interesting. As he eats that guy's ass. <laughs> I thought maybe scaring someone would cause them to freeze in terror, making them easier to hit, but no. It's a nice idea. It is a nice idea. I don't know whether it's an idea with legs, I mean... I mean, I would still say that Goat Simulator, as far as parody simulators go, is the best, and even that, the joke doesn't last much longer than like one playthrough or so. Man, that health goes down pretty quickly. Why are there gnome women now? Why are there weird gnomes? I'd be interested to find out whether uh, there are any stock Unity assets in this or not. It is a Unity game, I want to know how much of this is original, because the lion certainly doesn't look like the rest of the characters who are all very cartoony. And the lion looks rather somewhat realistic. How many full-sized humans, bones and all, does this fucker have to eat to keep his health up? Oh my god. Well, there are the stock unity death physics we know and love. So is it... 
just this. I mean, I guess we get different, there are different types, like, we gotta get these spelunky looking fellas as part of our next challenge. Oh, eat him ass first as well. Oh, that other clock's disappeared. There was a... I guess they disappear when they're out of range. Oh, there's one. No, not you. You! Eat three tourists. Find three stars. Yeah, this this is some weird city of things. Anyway, I'll need to kill two chickens. Oh, those are rocks. They're not chickens. Fuck it, I'll eat a wolf. Come here. I'll eat fucks and all. I don't give a shit. I don't give the single fattest fuck. Oh yeah, speaking of fat fuck, um, as I was downloading this, I checked out the community hub, as I'm want to do, and um, there seems to be a bit of a meme going around on uh, in Steam forums for certain games, where it says, say his name three times and he will appear, and they say Jim Sterling, Jim Sterling, Jim Sterling. Now, now my ego loves that. Um, I would request we don't spam Steam forums about me, because it can get annoying for everyone, not just, you know, developers and, and whatnot, but other people as well. Um, so, I'd say maybe, maybe don't do that, unless the game is really shit, and then, you know, I don't give a fuck, if, if they're really shoddy, doing something awful. But chances are, I mean, I get my Steam stuff from, oh, that one actually shot. But anyway, the point of it is, I mean, like I said, I, I, I don't think, you know, harassment of developers or, or trolling of forums in my name is good. Unless they've... Oh, get out of the... Get out of the... Poisons. You know, if they've... Oh, continue. If they've pulled a slaughtering grounds on me, then no mercy whatsoever. Do what thou will. But, uh, you know... Anyway, the, 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 the driving point of it is, is I want to address something that was in there, which I think is a reaction to, you know, people being annoyed by it, um, as much as just someone being um, a dick. Someone on the thread, in that Steam thread, said, uh, why, why would you want to summon that um, fat, unfunny, balding, short, British fuck? Something like that. And now I take great offence to that, because I'm not short. Okay, I'm about six foot one. Now I realise that all fat's washed up. You're going to assume short. No, it's it's like I would look like fucking like something something out of the Moomins if I was any short. But I am holy shit. But I am a a tall person. So it's like if you're going to criticise me, get it fucking right, you know. Besides which, I mean. I don't see the point in shaming people for being short anyway. If you are a short person, and you're uh, watching this, don't don't let that person make you feel ashamed of yourself. I like short people. I like tall people. I don't think there's anything inherent inherently better about any of it. So don't worry about that. Don't you let it, don't you let that band be mean to you. I mean, as I say, all the other criticisms spot on. Definitely fat. Definitely unfunny. Balding? Probably. At the very least, thinning hair. Which, again, I don't, I don't see why. That happens a lot, whether it's true or not. I see many games media get called balding. Um, I guess that just... Any physical imperfection, perceived or otherwise, I guess, is... Uh, fair game if you don't like someone on the internet. Um, but, again, I, I, 
I don't know why that's... Like, there are... A lot of people go bald, <laughs> you know? Fucking... I think Total Biscuits mentioned that his, uh, you know, he's hit that stage. Um, I've noticed my own hair, when it gets long, looks thinner than it used to. Which is why I said fuck it. And, and I'm going for that sort of really fat James Spader look now. Not I'm calling James Spader fat, I'm just saying I, I'm, my hair is, is like, if he was fat. Um, and if, if it ever gets proper bald looking, where not even that works... I'll just whack it all off, because I don't give a shit. I don't consider my hair to be a particular, particularly important thing. I don't even like ha hair. I might as well go full Wilson Fisk anyway. But I just I don't see the point of it. I will take unfunny on the chin. I will take British on the chin. I, I understand I'm British. I understand that's my fault. But, you know... Let's, let's not have a crack at people for things they can't help, like being short or bald. Yum, yum, yum. So, this, yeah, this really is just it. I think we've explored the limits. I haven't seen any more of those stupid fucking stars, though. It's a lot of screaming. It's hard to find the stars as well when you're this sort of desperate to try and maintain your fucking health meter. I'll also point out, apparently the developer posted in that thread as well saying they would love to have me come and trash their game. I, 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 I don't think that's how it should work. Um, certainly if you take the criticisms in good humour and, and take them as they're intended, I um, have respect for you as a developer. But this isn't a fun gimmick, you know? I criticise because I love games and I want them to be better and I want, I, I, in a perfect ideal world, I would love every game to be brilliant. Um, now, if you as a developer are, are interested in more than just me, quote-unquote, trashing your game and actually, you know, would like to listen to the criticism, take it on board, then... All the respect in the world for you. To wit. Um, this game definitely needs more than this. What that is, fuck knows, because you've kind of limited yourself with your concept. Holy fuck those physics. Get rid of the basic Unity physics that are supposed to be there for you to fix. Perhaps. Uh, don't make the health meter this much of a drain. Give us more things to explore. I mean, just look at the successful simulators. Look at Goat Simulator. Look at what they did. They filled it with all sorts of weird, funny things. This, this on the other hand, is, is one... one joke. And I know Goat Simulator was more or less one joke, but it did have a lot of secret extra things that had their own little weird jokes to them. You know, secret areas like becoming king of the goats and all this stuff. And weird combinations, weird unlockable uh, animals like goat versions of giraffes and things. This right here is, uh, there's just not much to it. So there you go, I'm not, I'm not gonna trash a game. Because this game is, is far from the worst thing I've ever seen and actually represents the basis of uh, something with potential. Which I knew from the start because, you know, I go through, I, I pretty much look at almost, at all of the, I didn't eat that. Is that a hipster? Is that what they're supposed to look like? Um, I didn't, I saw this on the Sting Green Light trailers page when it, that's where it was, and did not consider it for a Sting Green Light trailer video. I mean, I saw the thumbnail and, and said, well, let's see how shit this looks. Saw the, the trailer and thought, nope, that looks pretty competent. I'm, I'm gonna, if it comes on Steam, I will, I will play it. So, you've got potential. 
my friend, developer, who apparently is going to watch this gleefully. Shooting the shit out of me! Right. Oh, we've got astronauts now. See, this idea of different civilians unlocking as we go on is interesting. But if more things could happen... Like, if I could, for some reason... Drive these cars... Wouldn't a lion driving that car mowing people down be fun? I think so. And I, I don't think it, we can. No, our head just sort of goes through it. But wouldn't that be fun? Drive this fun little toy car around? Smash people over? Of course, again, that would have to work in tandem with this health meter not being such a... a harsh taskmaster. See there, I, I guess I did that. I made that fire hydrant explode. More things like that. If we could do interesting things with the environment, like right now it's... the environment's very static. It's interesting that it has that kind of weird free-to-play style currency, but it doesn't seem too hard to get. I don't know if maybe they intended this to be free-to-play at one point, or... I don't think it was on mobile or anything, but either way, it's a very generous... I don't know what the rest of the currency uh, is spent on. I don't know... Simulator skills. Here we here we go. Oh, this is all regular thing. Characters. Console peasant loves DLC. Tastes like ramen. Chinaman. Oh dear. That's considered somewhat distasteful. A phrase. You might want to look at that. Uh, hipster tourist. Peter. Supporter. Cop. Chicken. Rooster. Egg, wolf. Molester? What? It's just a thousand, but there's no clicking to unlock anything. Exterminator. If you'd made him look a bit more like Craven, that would have been cool. Molester? City Creeper loves latex and tube sites. Well, neither of those things make you a creeper. He doesn't look like a molester, he just looks like a someone who, who has a fun time. Um, the skills need an uh, amazing amount of diamonds. So what's the, what is the actual point of the, the gold? I don't know. Anyway, it's dead, I'm done. Um, so yeah, that's... Oh, I guess... Oh, no, they're stars. Anyway, whatever. Whatever. That's Predator Simulator. Um, a game... A game with a fuck sight more potential than a lot of shitty simulator games out there. That nonetheless uh, could do with uh, way more baking in the oven before being let out. I'm not sure. It's not that there's anything wrong with that, I'm just not. It's just a factual inaccuracy. Get it right. 